haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, so I thought it was perfect timing for me to hit you guys with some answers to your questions. Since I took these last questions off of my Twitter, I'm gonna ask you guys to number one, go follow it, thank you. Number two, ask me questions for the next Q&A down in the comment section of this video. Anyway, enough of the intro, let's get into it. What's your opinion on Black Ops 3 now this long after release? And do you think Black Ops 3 would consider the main COD when IW is out? No, I do not think Black Ops 3 will be considered the main COD because they're releasing technically two Call of Duties this year. They're re releasing a remastered version of COD 4, which I'm hoping will be a big hit. I, I hope that because I really want them to let it go, you know, flawlessly. Like if there's server problems or if they change something about the game, it could be a disaster. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. And I really think that all this negativity about Infinite Warfare, even though it isn't the setting we want, even though it isn't necessarily the gameplay mechanics that we want, boots on the ground, that's not to say it's gonna be a bad game. I'm gonna be giving it a fair shake. And if I don't like it, maybe I will play some more Black Ops 3. Maybe I just will play some COD 4 Remastered. There's options, people. But I don't think in the history of ever the new COD has never been the main COD. So I don't think that'll happen this year. Let me know what you think. What's the weirdest or grossest thing you've ever eaten? So uh, I've been, I'm really picky eater. I really like plain things. Just give me some chicken, some mac and cheese. I like sandwiches. I'm, I really do eat like a five year old, okay? So I don't like to mix it up too much. There are some different types of things I like, but one of the things I don't like is seafood, really. The only thing I like is like salmon. Like I've tried sushi so many times, hate it. But the grossest thing I think I've ever eaten is lobster. And I know that's considered kind of like a delicacy or like a good dinner here in America. I don't like it. I tr maybe I was at Red Lobster with my family. I tried it and I just was like needed to get it out of my mouth immediately. I was not having it. Sorry to all my lobster lovers out there. I just don't like seafood. I think that's probably the grossest thing I've ever eaten. Soft or hard shell tacos. I absolutely 110,000%. I mean, this is the only answer there is soft shell. Soft shell tacos. If you answer hard shell, I just don't understand you to the core of your being. I don't understand. Just kidding. It's cool if you like hard shell, but I'm just saying soft shells where it's at, especially warm it up a little bit. As well as asking questions for next time, make sure to answer hard or soft shell tacos down in the comments. Will you go outside again? Dude, I went outside recently. Can you tell? You can't tell. I still look pale as ever, but look at this screenshot from my Snapchat. Snapchat Midnight OG, by the way. Sunburnt this week and it was crazy. I went outside again and never again. I'm staying inside forever now. Do you think Call of Duty will die out anytime soon? If so, what FPS game do you think will take its place? Um, People say this every year. They say COD is dying, COD is dying. I don't think that's necessarily true until the game starts selling poorly. Because once it starts selling poorly, then I think that will truly not make people dislike it, I guess. Because I feel like the people that don't like Call of Duty, they're predisposed anyway. They're not gonna like it basically no matter what they do, right? But for the people who are on that swing, in that swing zone where they're like, I might buy the next con, I might not. If it keeps doing poorly like that, then that might make it more difficult for them to get those people who were like, yes or no, I don't know. It might make it more difficult for them to get back into it they would I think they would really have to screw up though Call of Duty to make it dead or whatever Cause people have been saying it's dying for a long time but its sales numbers are through the roof it's still one of the biggest entertainment launches every single year not any of no other video game franchise can do the same thing uh, so that's pretty crazy I don't think it's gonna die but if let's just say let's just say Call of Duty just boom like only two people bought it this year uh, I would have to say the next big FPS is Overwatch. Overwatch is huge right now. I can't tell if it's just because it came out or if it's actually like a literally amazing game. It's gonna depend on how they patch it and how they keep people playing it. Uh, so that's my opinion. I don't think Call of Duty is gonna die. Um, it, I, I think they have to keep doing kind of the things that they're doing now, bringing out new titles. And now this this weird thing that they're doing with, with bringing back an old title too to uh, please the, the older generation of COD players and the newer generation of COD players. It's gonna be exciting to see what happens. I'm not saying it's impossible for Call of Duty to die, especially this year, but I'm just saying it's gonna take a lot more than one kind of iffy release. You know what I'm saying? 
If you were stranded on a desert island and you could only bring three things, what would they be? So let's just assume that I don't need any survival stuff because my first obvious answers would be like fire starter, water purifier, knife, or weapon. Those are really obvious. So let's just assume that I have all that on this desert island and maybe hopefully I'm not gonna be there longer than a week or two, I don't know. But I would probably bring my guitar. I'd definitely bring my guitar, learn some songs, okay, I'd do that. I'd bring a whole bunch of paper and a pen so that I could keep track of my thoughts, keep track of everything and just assuming like I said that I had all the survival stuff I would want to show and share my experience at a later time it also might help with the guitar maybe I can make a song I don't know the third thing I'd bring is somehow my one of my pets or have a pet some kind of companion I don't think a thing comes as a person but a thing also doesn't count as a pet I don't know I'd bring some kind of companion person or pet those are the three things I'd bring it keep me sane uh, and if I had those things as well as survival things that'd be cool if I you know couldn't then I'd have to just go with the survival stuff. What's your all-time favorite pizza and or all-time favorite ice cream topping? Um, pizza is gonna be cheese. I Like I said earlier, I'm boring. I like plain foods, just cheese pizza's cool with me, okay? I'm, bo I'm sorry that I'm boring. My favorite ice cream topping is gonna be Oreo cookies. Just put Oreos all over that. Amazing, no, no need for anything else even. You don't even have to add anything else to it. That's as good as it gets. Are you going to MLG Orlando? Um, 51% yes, 49% no, still unsure. Probably, maybe, but also possibly not. I'm not sure yet. I know that's the biggest like non-answer of the video, but I don't know yet. All right guys, that's gonna be it for the Q&A video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you would like more Q&A videos. Uh, maybe leave a dislike if you wouldn't want more Q&A videos, but then, if you made it to the end of, the, if you watched the whole Cuban and a video, you probably would like more, I don't know. Let me know by liking or disliking the video and also leave a comment uh, with a question for the next one that I do do, because I do plan on doing it again, but not like, if you guys don't want them, I won't do it for a long time, if that makes any sense. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate the support. As always, I'll catch you guys uh, on the next video. Peace.